Today we're gonna to make this really cute ear flap hat. We're gonna make two sizes, a small and a medium. I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook. You can design this with any type of colors you'd like. You could put three stripes in there, four stripes, or fatter stripes for your favorite, favorite team logo, just like I have in that picture above. Just use your imagination. These two sizes are very adjustable. This hat here I did with the exact same pattern of the size small, but I used a four millimeter hook and a little bit finer yarn. These are all baby and kid sizes. Again, with the size medium, I used the four millimeter hook and had a fine yarn as well, but I actually doubled this yarn because it was super fine just to make it a little heavier and it still turned out smaller with the exact same pattern. At the end of the video, I will show you how to do the ski goggles for on top of the little hat. Here I have one goggle. I didn't do the stripe with it, but it'll look really cute on the top of the hat. By adding a stripe into your hat, it makes it look like the goggles have an actual strap, just like in this one here. So we can use any yarn. I used a number four medium and a five millimeter hook You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So let's get started. I will show you a full pattern for the size small. For the size medium, I will just show you a, a quicker version of it. So let's start this with a magic ring. Make a loop on your finger. Take your hook, insert it into the loop, pull up your yarn, and then draw it up and do two chains. This will be your magic ring. For our first round, we will put 11 double crochet in the ring. Pull snug. Then we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. Round one will equal 11 stitches. Chain two. This chain two will not count as a double crochet. Starting in that very first stitch, we will put two double crochet. And then we will continue with two double crochet in each stitch. Here we have our last stitch, and this will be 22 stitches in this round. We will slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet.
chain two. We will put one double crochet in the first stitch. And then we will do two double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat this for round three. So we will do one double crochet and then two double crochet all the way around. You can then slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. Round three will equal 33 stitches. Start with the chain two and put one double crochet in the first stitch, then one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. And then we'll repeat this all the way around. After you've come around to the beginning, we will do a slip stitch to join. Round four will equal 44 stitches. We will start with the chain two. Starting in that very first stitch, now we're gonna put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And the entire rest of this size of hat for rounds five to 12 will all have 44 stitches. Here is the end of round five, and you can already see how the little hat is starting to curve. I'm going to do a couple more rounds before I start my stripe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm doing seven rounds. From here, I'm gonna join my new color. You can start your stripe pattern wherever you want, as long as you end with the 12 rounds. So for here, of course, I started my stripe on round eight and I did three stripes. And then for my other hat, I did nine rounds and then did two of a different color to make it look like the band for the little goggles. So I started mine on row ten, nine and 10. Make sure you have 12 rows in total. To add a new color, we will stop just before we join our last round. At the end of the stitch, we will bring in our new color. And then we will slip stitch to join. From here, we will do our round the same, starting with the chain two. So just pulling your yarn tight, starting that round with the chain two and putting one single crochet in each stitch. Remember, we do not want to cut this yarn here because we're going to use it again. We will be bringing it up.
at the end of this round, I want to bring in another color. So I'm stopping just before the last stitch. So here's our last stitch. And I'm going to do just a half a double crochet, stopping here and bringing in my next color. So finishing the stitch with my new color. And then I'm going to slip stitch to join. Before I do my chain two, I will bring my other two colors forward. So just bring them to the front and then do your chain two. This will make it easier to bring your next color up. You can see what it looks like here on the back and I will show you at the end how to finish it nicely. So again, with this color, we will do the 44 double crochet all the way around. We are now back around to the beginning and I'm gonna have a white stripe. So let's finish the last stitch. We go halfway and let's bring the white yarn up. Finish your stitch with the white yarn. We can then slip stitch to join. And again, before we do our chain two, let's bring our first color, our beige color, to the front just to bring it up. We will then do the chain two with the white. And now we can cut our brown yarn because we're not going to use it anymore. So just cut that and then making our one row with white. Working around one double crochet in each stitch. At the end of this round, we will bring our beige color back up, bring it up, slip stitch to join. And chain two. We will now have two more rows to do. We are finished with the white yarn, so we can cut this. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I now have eleven rows and I need to do one more. You should now have twelve rows. It doesn't matter which rows your stripes are in. You will kind of see this back joining seam, but we're going to put it at the back of the hat as well. So we're going to have some stitches here along the back, and then we're going to have the ear flaps on the side.
So let's do a chain one. We'll now do single crochet. So starting in that very first stitch, we'll put a single crochet. Let's do five. So this is three, four, and five. The next section will be the ear flap. Let's start this with eight single crochet. So we've done the five and now we're adding eight. This will be our section here for the ear flap. We will now chain one and turn. Starting in the very first stitch, let's do eight single crochet across. Chain one and turn. Again, starting in the very first stitch, let's do another eight single crochet. chain one and turn, and this time we're going to skip that first stitch. Starting in the second one, we will do seven single crochet across. Chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, and six single crochet. Chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, five single crochet. Chain one, turn, skip the first stitch, four single crochet. Chain one, turn, skip the first stitch, three single crochet. Chain one, turn, skip the first stitch, and two single crochet. We've now completed the first ear flap. So let's work up the side. We're going to put one single crochet at the end of each row.
After you've put one in each row, then we will start going across the front. So let's do 18 single crochet. So this 18 is the front of the hat. Now we will do eight single crochet and this will be the start of our ear flap. We can then chain one and turn, and we will do eight single crochet, starting in the first stitch. Chain one and turn, eight single crochet. Chain one turn, skip the first stitch, and then seven single crochet. So this will be worked like the other ear flap on the other side. I have written the pattern above for you. When you've come to the two single crochet, we are now going to single crochet up the side.
We will now have five stitches remaining. So let's put five single crochet, one in each stitch, and then we will slip stitch to join. slip stitch to join in the top of that first single crochet. We will then chain one and now we're going to do one more round of single crochet all the way around just to finish it off. As you can see, this last round is needed, so we finish the other side of the ear flap with a nice single crochet um, border. We will put one stitch at the end of each row, and then just continue with one stitch into every stitch from the round below. So just continue along around the front, along this ear flap, down the side, and back around to the beginning where we will finish off. When you have reached the end, we can cut our yarn and close with an invisible stitch. With your darning needle, we are going to insert into the very first stitch that we made of that row from front to back. Come back around and we're going to go down into that last stitch that we made. And here you have a perfect close and you can tie in your end. Now we will weave in all of our other ends. For our start, we're going to secure the magic ring. So let's take our darning needle and let's secure this because we do not want it to come undone. So securing it in, but we will not cut this yarn because we're going to use it uh, for our pom-pom. We can now weave in all the other ends of the inside of the hat. And now you can see the inside is finished nicely. This is what the hat should look like in the back. You will see that little back seam that's up here, just lightly. The back is shorter, so these stitches here are shorter, and then the ear flaps. And then on the front, you can see it is longer. So this part here is longer. Let's cut some strands. I will show you how to braid them onto the hat. For each braid, I am using three strands of each color. 
So I'm just going to find the center of the bottom of the ear flap here and I'm going to pull the strands through. Make your ends even and start your braid. Line up your braids so they're the same length. And then what I do is I just use a piece of the yarn from each of the strands to tie it. You can then just trim with your scissors to make both sides the same. We can now attach our pom-pom. Here is a link right here how I show you how to make a pom-pom with a pom-pom maker or you can check out on my channel how I make one out of cardboard. I will put both links in the description. After you have secured your pom-pom with a knot, I like to just pull the knot back up underneath the pom-pom just so it's not on baby's head. And there you have your cute little ear flap hat. So this size small measured about seven inches or 18 centimeters wide and it was about six inches long or about 14-15 centimeters. So to make it smaller of course you would use the smaller hook and smaller yarn. 
We can now move on to the medium size. I will do this one all the way through from beginning to end, but the first four rows will be the same as the small. This medium size hat I will show you in a quicker version. Let's start with the magic ring and put 11 double crochet in the circle. For round one, it will be 11 stitches. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet, chain two, two double crochet will be in each stitch for the next round, and round two will be 22 stitches. slip stitch to join, then we will chain two, we will put one double crochet in the first stitch, and then we will put two double crochet in the next stitch. And we will repeat this, so round three will equal 33 stitches. slip stitch to join, chain two, one double crochet in the first stitch, and then one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way around. Round four will equal 44 stitches. We are now going to do another increase row. This is going to make our hat bigger. So slip stitch to join, chain two, and this time we're gonna do one double crochet in each of the first three stitches. And then we will do two double crochet in the next stitch and repeat. This is the last round for our increase. So now we're going to chain two and put one double crochet in each stitch. If you wanted to do a larger hat or an adult size, you would do one to two more rounds of increase and then of course make more rows as well. Each round will be 55 stitches. Repeat this for rounds six to nine, and that's where we're gonna do our color change. Here I have nine rounds, and then I did my color change. To know how to do this, you can go back to the small size to learn how. I now have 14 rounds in total. Here are my 14 rounds. I am not going to cut my one color of yarn because I'm going to use that at the very last row for just a different contrast. From here though, we're going to start with the chain one 
and this time we will have seven single crochet and then 10 single crochet to start the ear flap. We will now work the ear flap. Chain one turn and do the following pattern up above. Pause here if you need to. I will also speed up the video a little bit, but you can always stop and slow it down. This row is 10 single crochet. Again, 10 single crochet. After you've completed the pattern, we will then single crochet up the side. We can then do 21 single crochet along the front of the hat.
To start the next ear flap, we will start with 10 single crochet. Chain one turn and another 10 single crochet. Continue this ear flap just like you did the first one. From here, I will jump ahead. If you have to look back on the video to see how this ear flap is done, you can pause here and look back. When you have come to the end, we will single crochet up the side and then do seven single crochet along the back. And this is where we will do a different color change. And now we will do one more round of single crochet. Cut your yarn and finish with an invisible close. For the medium size hat, I cut longer and more strands. Let's move on to the goggles. I used a 4mm hook. Let's start with a slip knot. Chain 9. Starting in the second chain from the hook, Row one, we will do eight single crochet, and then row two will be eight single crochet. At the end of each row, you will do a chain one and turn.
For row three, we're going to start with an increase. An increase will be two single crochet in one stitch. So one increase, and then we're going to do in the next stitch another increase. And then six single crochet, and now follow the pattern. For row seven, we will start again with another increase. So increase in the first stitch, and then increase in the second stitch, and then follow the pattern above. For row 11, we're going to start with a decrease. A decrease will be putting two stitches together. Insert your hook into the first, pull up a loop, into the second, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. That is a decrease. We are going to do one decrease and then 10 single crochet. For row 12, we'll start with 9 single crochet and then a decrease. Next row 13 will be 10 single crochet.
row 14, we'll start with 8 single crochet and then a decrease. Row 15 will be 9 single crochet. You can now see how it's starting to do a really great shape. Now we have the other half of the goggle to do. Row 16 will start with 8 single crochet plus an increase. And then follow the pattern above for the next few rows. Row 17 is 10 single crochet. Row 18, we will start with 9 single crochet and then an increase. Row 19, increase, then 10 single crochet. For rows 20, 21, and 22, put 12 single crochet in each row. Your goggles should now look like this with 22 rows. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Let's continue. Row 23 will start with two decreases and then follow the pattern above.
You now have 26 rows and let's start on row 27. Row 27, we will start with two decreases plus six. Row 28 will be 8 single crochet, and row 29, 8 single crochet. We are now going to single crochet all the way around. Put one stitch at the end of each row. We'll meet you back here at the beginning. Now I'm going to change colors. I'm going to do brown so it looks like the brown in the hat and that'll make it look like the strap around the goggles. So just one stitch in every stitch from the round below. When you are finished, be sure to leave a long enough tail to attach to the hat. If you like my videos, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!